Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about two small changes that could be made up on Capitol Hill that would forever alter the American political landscape. Most importantly, it would make it easier for employers to review the performance of their employees. Employers being you. Employees being those people we send up to D.C. Because you have two things that are just accept it. It's the way they've always been done. That occur on a pretty regular basis that really undermine the ideals of a representative democracy. And right now they both involve Senator Mitch McConnell. See, two things are going on at the same time. One, you have the stimulus negotiations. And the other is that you had the House pass a bill on decriminalization and it's pretty likely that McConnell's just going to do nothing with it and let it go stale, let it go away. These are both pretty normal things. We see it all the time. However, slight tweaks in the way these things get done would make our representatives more accountable. They're not rulers, they're employees. So with the bill, it would be a, a pretty simple task to make sure that any bill that gets passed by one chamber of the House has to be voted on by the other. As it stands right now, you have Mitch McConnell, a person who is very secure in their reelection, capable of shielding the rest of his party from any scrutiny. See, he can hold this bill up and it just dies, it just goes away which means the rest of the country doesn't get to know how their senator would have voted on it. We can't hold them accountable because they can always blame McConnell. Oh, that wasn't me. I would have voted for it. I would have done something the overwhelming majority of Americans want done. But, you know, Senate Majority Leader McConnell wouldn't let me. And they get off the hook. We can't review their performance. We can't hold them accountable. The other is these negotiations done in secret. No one else is in the room where it happens, right? It's a facet of American politics that needs to go away. We see it all the time. Representatives from two opposing parties walk into a room, the negotiations fail, they walk out and blame each other. Televise them. Don't let them be done in secret. Show us how the sausage is made. Show us what happens then they wouldn't be able to pull that game. They wouldn't be able to blame each other. We would get to see it happen. Now, this has been proposed before. And the standard answer to this, to those who don't want to do it because they don't want any accountability, is that, well, the deals would just get made somewhere else and then they'd put on a show for the camera. And yeah, that would probably happen a few times. Until the very first time somebody agreed to something in one of those backroom deals in principle, and then got in front of the cameras and didn't agree to it. And then the negotiations start, for real. Once that happens once, politicians won't trust that backdoor method. They, they won't put any faith in it. They certainly wouldn't stake their political careers on it. Accountability. It's an important concept when you're talking about representative democracy, and right now it's very hard to hold them accountable. These two small changes, if something is passed in one chamber, it has to be voted on in the other, and televising all negotiations between parties, live streaming them. That would forever alter American politics, and it would make our politicians more accountable. And then it would be up to the employers to hold them accountable. Right now, there is no way for us to do this. We can't hold politicians accountable. However, we can hold Mitch McConnell accountable. Right now, he has all of this power. One person is able to subvert the will of the American people because he's the Senate Majority Leader. And there's a way to change that. I'm looking at you, Georgia. If that happens and the Democratic Party gets control of the House and the Senate, this should be one of the first changes to the rules they make. 
if we want a representative democracy, and people keep talking about how democracy is being undermined, because it is right now, maybe we should make it a little more resilient, make people a little bit more accountable for their actions. This would be a way to do it. And I find it hard to believe that the party of personal responsibility would be too stiff in their opposition to this. It would be a bad move politically for them. They always want employers to be able to fire their employees at will. They just want to shield themselves from that because they don't view themselves as your employees. They view themselves as your rulers. And because we can't hold them accountable, they kind of are. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.